Good morning. Welcome to Wolf Wednesdays. Today I'm going to talk to you about first aid for your dog. Now in California most of us have earthquake kits, but what do we have in there for our dog? Even if you guys live in a blizzard um, area or an area where they have a lot of storms or tornadoes and such, if you guys have an emergency kit, what do you have in there for your dog? You got to think about that. I had this for Ozar, which is a little first aid kit. See? And it is solely for your dog. I got this at, I think, Petco or PetSmart. I forgot which one. It has, like, all the bandages and stuff in here. This is especially for your dog. Um, it has um, hydrogen peroxide, which is good to have in there. And it's in a spray form, so you don't need to have a lot of extra stuff. A hot, cold pack, a lot of bandages, um, some tape and such. But other things you may look into getting are like a little collapsible bowl for them. And if you have an emergency water, you want to make sure that you have at least an extra gallon for them because they're going to need it for um, drinking and for any type of cleaning out of a wound that they might get. Um, if you don't have the first aid kit like I have, then you want to look into some basics that you can get for your dog. Like the cloth bandages that have um, the Witchman Dinker here. Hold on. My blondism is getting me here. The Velcro on the side there so you can wrap it around and you don't have to worry about having any tape. It will serve as a dual purpose. You want to have some canned food for your dog too. Some canned food usually has preservatives in there to keep the food okay for a while. Um, but switch that out along with like any getting a small bag of the dry food. That will also help it, but you want to make sure that you circulate that out every maybe six months because it will get stale and it might get um, moldy or gross or something like that and your dog won't eat it. But always keep some, like, some canned vegetables on hand in your emergency kit for your dog because that will serve as a good level of nutrition. Also some Neosporin. Um, look into getting some children's Motrin, some children's Tylenol. Children's Motrin is great because it will serve as an anti-inflammatory also if um, your dog is hurt. Also, you want to keep extra towels and blankets around for them, too, in case um, you guys are stuck in your home for a while. But that's it for Wolf Wednesdays. Thank you so much for joining. I hope these tips were helpful for you and that you'll add some emergency items just for your dog. Have a wonderful Wolf Wednesday. Bye-bye.